file, in this December 14, 2017, file photo, Federal Communications Commission, FCC, Chairman Ajit Pai takes a drink from a mug during an FCC meeting where the FCC voted on net neutrality, in Washington. Burger King has a new ad that takes a jab at net neutrality, showing customers being told they will be charged different prices for a Whopper, depending on how fast they want it. AP Photo, Jacqueline Martin, File New York, AP, Burger King is delivering its own hot take on a regulatory showdown that has inflamed the US, using a flame-grilled Whopper. Burger King's new ad has become a sensation, with more than a million views on YouTube and it's letting up Twitter. In the ad customers, whom the restaurant says are real, are told they will be charged different prices for a Whopper, based on speed, or MBPS, making burgers per second. Prices range from $5 to $26. And the customers grow increasingly furious in an art imitating life display that mocks new internet rules that have led to wide-scale protests, even death threats. There's even a job by Tajit Pai, who heads the Federal Commission that voted last month to eliminate net neutrality protections for the internet, hint, look for the colossal Reese's coffee mug. Net neutrality is the principle that Internet providers treat all web traffic equally, and it's pretty much how the Internet has worked since its creation. The Federal Communications Commission last month repealed the Obama-era rules, giving Internet service providers like Verizon, Comcast and AT&T a free hand to slow or block websites and apps as they see fit or charge more for faster speeds. The FCC decision has led to a fierce pushback by consumers law enforcement and major corporations. Last week, a group of attorneys general for 21 states and the District of Columbia sued to block the rules. So did Mozilla, the maker of the Firefox browser, public interest group Free Press and New America's Open Technology Institute. Others may file suit as well, and a major tech industry lobbying group that includes Google has said it will support litigation. This week, Montana became the first state to bar telecommunications companies from receiving state contracts if they interfere with internet traffic or favor higher-paying sites or apps. Copyright 2018 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed.